Hey guys, hope you're doing well. Happy Saturday. Um, here we are finally continuing on again with the Bones Brigade Series 12. Sorry about the delay there, um, but when I got my hands on that OG Iron Cross and, you know, it just had those beautiful gull wings on it and the uh, Santa Cruz Bolt Speed Wheels, I just had to show you guys because it was so tight. Um, and then also just obviously wanted to get the Bones Brigade Series 13 rumor stuff in there. Obviously, since then we've seen that it has come to fruition and that's what it is. There's still a lot of drama. Are the boards made in Mexico? Are they made in US? We don't know. Um, it sounded like they were pushing them down to Mexico, um, but then in the pre, I guess in the pre-order, some of the information people were getting was that they were actually being made in the US. Who knows? I hope that they keep it in the US because of the authenticity to it. Um, and that's where the heritage is. Uh, but, um, and I would assume the quality is a bit better, but in saying that, Lots of guys have had Warp Series 12 decks and other series as well. So I don't know, honestly, um, it is gonna be what it's gonna be. I did hate though when my, you know, Converse, my, um, my Chucks went from being made in the US over to China. There was a bit, you know, quite the difference there. Uh, and saying that though, there's a lot of great boards that come out of Mexico. The street plant decks are all made by PS Sticks and he, his uh, plant is in Mexico and so or he has has at least one plant down there and so there's there's still really good quality that comes out of there as well um but uh we're gonna leave it at that here we are today to look at um the series 12 tommy g so this deck is so rad i love the purple so the flame and dagger here i love the purple against the oranges and stuff super rad deck here's the top so guys, this one was released in 2020. We see that here. And we see on the dragon there too that it's the tighter tail versus the faint or the flamed, flamed, feathered out kind of tail that we see on some of the other series. So if you go back and you watch my series two video, I believe on that one, the dragon has the more feathered tail. Um, but yeah, so Bones Brigade 2020, it was supposed to drop in the spring, got pushed to the summer, then got pushed to the fall. Um, yeah, I guess that kind of seems like pretty standard mess that's taking place right now with these guys as far as drops and stuff go. Uh, yeah, and so I, I do want to say, guys, I feel for you too who put out the pre-orders for um, Series 13 and then all of a sudden ended up getting those emails saying that there just wasn't enough stock and they canceled your orders. That sucks. Um, so anyways, hopefully they'll have, <clears throat> they'll have enough for the actual drop at the end of June. Um, all right, so let's just burn through this deck though, guys. We know who Tommy G is. So Tommy G was brought on as the street guy. So from the Vert standpoint, we had Hawk, Lance Mountain, Steve Cab, Mike Gill, and then obviously Rodney Mullen doing the freestyle and Mr. Tommy G here um, was their street guy. All right, so let's get into some of the specifics here. So we can see right away the big BCJ up here, so Vernon Cortland Johnson did this graphic way back in 1986. Is the copyright on this one? And uh, yeah, so again, as we're talking about the graphics here, the process for this application is not a screen right onto the board, screen onto heat transfer, and then they put that whole heat transfer on the deck. That's why we can see, or we can't see, a couple of these holes here because that heat transfer is covering them. Um, and you can see that they just punch out easy. That's where I mount the deck. And again, yeah, so the old school process, I actually like better where they screen directly onto the deck. But money talks, right? Money talks. So this is where we're at with it. Um, but all in all still, you know, it looks killer. It's, it's on there good. It's not just gonna fall off or anything like that. Um, so don't want to complain too much about it. We're still getting all the memories associated with it, even though it's not the exact same process it was back in the day. Okay, so the shape on this one, again, I've mentioned before to you guys, just the last three digits give you the shape. And so this one is 198. It's hard to see because the VCJ in there, um, but it is shape 198. The concave on this guy, not a lot of concave happening here. Right, pretty flat. And so the concave on this shape is the, uh, on this deck, sorry, is the SP3. Um, if you go back to my Tommy Guerrero, um, the Series 2, the blue one, super sick colorway. I should have kept it, but anyways, you can't keep them all. 
Um, it actually has wheel wells in it, and the, the concave on that one is SP0. Um, so it doesn't sound like there's any concave at all, but um, yeah, but it had wheel wells on it. This one does not, obviously. Um, okay, so the width on this one is 9.6. Length is 29.18. The nose, really small nose on this, guys, is the 2.93. Wheelbase measuring in between the trucks here is 15 inches, and then the tail on it is 6.25. What else do we want to talk about? Old school, new school hole pattern. Let's see here. And I, yeah. So that's the old school hole pattern, which is cool because it, you know, throws back to that authentic old school pattern that we were used to doing. So. Unfortunately with these, again, we talk about this all the time, but make sure that you've bought, um, if you're an indie guy like me, um, that you either have old school trucks that will mount onto this with the old school hole pattern, or buy um, some trucks like the indies that will have the six hole base plate, then you'll be fine. Um, but yeah, if you just go out and buy a set of, you know, if you went out and bought a set of 159 indies, um, then there's a chance that you're going to have the new school hole pattern and they might just not mount. So um, usually the 169s have the six hole base plate um, and that's typically what I would ride anyways is 169s but a lot of guys do 149s or even you know 159s as well on on these and just go with wider wheels or something along those lines. But Okay so outside of that um, with the deck and I'll try to put up a picture here if I can find one when I first got it but it comes with a plastic sleeve which I still have it's packed away. Um, but it's super thin plastic sleeve. It's not really that protective, but I do like the plastic sleeves better than the shrink wrap on them. So it came with the plastic sleeve. It came with, uh, sorry guys, I'm just grabbing this here. A warranty card, which whatever. Not a lot of value to that thing. Um, but then also came with this rider card, which is awesome. I'm, I am happy that they provide these with them at least. Um, gives you a lot of great information just on the skater as well. Some history around them, around their deck, around the graphic, just their involvement in the industry. Um, and then also with these ones, because it is older, I think in series 9 or 10, they started including the actual um, number that you had of your deck in the run. And so this one is 417. There was only 2,000 in this run. So 417 of 2000, um, they do like after these runs are done, if there's any blems, they do put them up on skate one every once in a while and they'll sell them signed or they'll sell them complete or what have you. Um, but in this run, there's only 417 <clears throat> or sorry, there's only 2000. So this one is 417 of 2000. And we've talked about it before. I really wish that they would put that number on the board somewhere so you have that connection um, but unfortunately they do not do that now the last thing that you're supposed to get but unfortunately a lot of the stores sold these independently is just this little pin here i will put a bigger picture up here so you can see it um, but it's just a cool collector's pin that they were offering with it and it would have been nice if you got one for every board that you purchased but again a lot of the stores were selling them and a lot of guys didn't end up getting them um, unfortunately as a result of that but it is cool to get that little extra stoke all right guys so there you have it I'm not going to keep you long <clears throat> but here we go bones brigade series 12 again it's supposed to be released in the spring of 2020 got pushed back till the fall um, but man this dagger is so cool good job Vernon good job all right, guys, thanks again for all the comments, the likes, and uh, yeah, just for, you know, the opportunity to hang with you guys kind of in the comments section because it's really rad to meet people, you know, not just in Canada, but literally across the world now um, that I'm connecting with as a result of the comments there. So it's cool just to connect with other old school, you know, skaters that appreciate just the memories and everything else associated with it. All right, guys, peace out. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Cheers. Take care.